All right, guys, listen up. We need to talk. So, Mortal Kombat 1 has really grown on me. And I see what NRS is trying to do. So it gave me this crazy idea that they can also do the same thing with Injustice. So if they do Mortal Kombat versus Injustice, I think that would be something the fans would enjoy. Now we've been down that road before, but it's been what, close to 10, 11 years, maybe even more since we've gotten this game. Hell, maybe it's been 15 years at this point. I don't even remember when the game came out. I just know it was a very long time ago. Now you see how you get to choose your side and you get to, for example, you get 10 Mortal Kombat characters and you get 10 DC characters, right? So what if with Liu Kang's new timeline, since everything is different and everything is going to repeat itself again, how about we do Mortal Kombat versus Injustice one more time, except we have Mortal Kombat team up with Injustice and the story mode, but of course we still going to fight them and everything because it's Mortal Kombat versus Injustice, but they end up on the same side to take out, you know, Dark, you know, Dark Khan and let's say they'll take out Dark Khan and whoever else the big bad villain is, say Dark Khan and Shane Sung or, or Onaga or something like that, right? So we would then have 10 characters, right? We'll have 10 Mortal Kombat characters. So I wanna play a little game with y'all. I'm gonna pick my 10 Mortal Kombat characters and then you're gonna pick your 10 Mortal Kombat characters. That's what we're gonna do and then we're gonna move on to the next part of the game. I think this should be fun. This should be a real fun video, right? So the top 10 people that I would pick for my Mortal Kombat roster, number one, I would definitely have to go with Batman. Batman's my number one draft pick. I'm going with Batman straight up. Okay, after I go with Batman, I'm also gonna go with my boy Arrow. I need Arrow, Arrow gotta be there. All right, after I go with Arrow, I wanna go with, um, who else I wanna go with, who else I wanna go with? I wanna go with my boy Superman. I gotta go with Superman, we need Superman. And then of course I wanna go with Wonder Woman. Now I'm getting the obvious choices up front cause I want my powerhouse on my heavy hitters. And I also want, da, 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 da. let's see. Who else I want, who else I want? I want Deathstroke, I'm gonna get Deathstroke. Um, I'm gonna take Harley Quinn. Uh, I'm gonna take Frost, Killer Frost, I'm gonna take Killer Frost. Where we at, we at seven now. And who else I'm gonna take? Give me a second, y'all. Give me a second. I'm trying to take. Give me John Diggle. I'll take John Diggle. I'll take John Diggle. And uh, I wanna throw Superwoman. Let me get Superwoman. I'm gonna throw Superwoman up in there. So we got we got Superwoman too. All right. So I got Superwoman. That is my team of ten. I think I picked ten. Was that ten? Let me know if that's ten. That is my ten pick of Mortal Kombat characters that I want to be for Mortal Kombat versus Injustice. That's number one. Now, I want you in the comment section, I want you to pause the video, I want you to go to the comment section and name your top 10 people that you're going to be using for your Mortal Kombat roster if you were only able to pick 10 for the Mortal Kombat side of things or the DC side of things. I did DC first, I said Mortal Kombat, my bad. Those are my top 10 DC people that I'm picking from Injustice. Now I'm gonna do my top 10 Mortal Kombat people. Cause mind you, we're doing a roster of 20. We're doing a roster of 20 with five cameos apiece, all right? So my Mortal Kombat pick, I'm gonna go with, uh, let's see. Of course, I'm taking my fire guy, Liu Kang. I'm taking Sub-Zero, I'm taking Scorpion. Uh, who else, I'm taking Tremor. Uh, da, 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 da. Who else I wanna take, who else I wanna take? I'm gonna take Striker. Uh, I got Striker. Ooh, so many options, so many options. Uh, let's see, let's see. Kong Lao, give me Kong Lao. Uh, I'm gonna take Raiden. Uh, who else? Oh, I get to pick anybody, that's right. Man, give me Cetrion. Give me Cetrion. I'm gonna take Squ Scarlet, and then I'm gonna take Melina. All right, so those are my 10 picks for my Mortal Kombat side. Now we're gonna go back over to the DC side, right? So on the DC side, I'm gonna be doing five cameo characters. So the cameo characters I want, I want Batman, I want Catwoman, I want The Flash, I want Green Arrow, and I want um, Wild Dog. I'll take those five as my uh, DC 
cameo characters. That's who I'll take. Yes, Mortal Kombat versus Injustice should have cameo characters. That would be mega, mega dope. So that way they can focus on the main roster and then none of our favorites get uh, left out at all. They still get a little bit of love. And you can make them a part of your story. Win-win for everybody. All right. So now for my Mortal Kombat cameos, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take Kano. I'm going to take Sonya. I'm going to take Jax. I'm going to take Reptile. And I'm going to take... Uh, my last one is going to be Goro. So those are the five people that I'm going to take as my cameo characters. So now we got 10 DC characters. We got 10 Mortal Kombat characters. We got five DC cameos and five Mortal Kombat cameos. Now that we got all that together, what would the story be? So basically the story would be Liu Kang breaks time again. And worlds begin to merge. And the world merges and in order for the worlds to unmerge, or whatever the case may be, you need to, let's say, defeat Dark Khan or Dark Side or somebody like that. It's something you gotta do to undo what the evil person has done to the realms and blamed it on Liu Kang. Like, let's just put it that way. I'm just making stuff up as I go along, of course, right? So, now we got the worlds are merged at this point. So the story plot is gonna be um, DC thinking uh, Mortal Kombat did it, Mortal Kombat thinking DC did it. But then Batman, of course, find out what's going on. Teams up with Luke Kane. Stryker and Batman have some good interactions, you know, by both of them being humans. And Stryker, you know, got a, a huge respect for Batman. Batman got a huge respect for Stryker. I think that'll be super dope, you know, just to have something like that. Same thing with Sonya. Sonya and Batman have some good interactions, especially with Jax too. Batman give Jax a little, you know, a couple of upgrades. So a couple of pieces of upgrades so he can upgrade his suit, which is, well, his arms, which is super dope and everything. And uh, Sonya gets a new utility belt from Batman. And Liu Kang kind of teach some of his fighting techniques to Batman. He trains him, make Batman even more better than he already was. Show him the way of the Wuxi. You know, um, I just think that would be super dope. And Liu Kang has some interactions, or I should say Batman has some interactions with the, uh, the Lin Kuei. That'd be dope. And then Liu Kang finally can get his revenge on uh, Joker. Let's just say this will be the timeline where Joker tricks Liu Kang into killing Kitana. You know, uh, kind of how he did Superman. So I think that'd be dope. That's actually one of the... Um, the voice intros, they actually said that is one of the voice intros if you do Luke Kang versus Luke Kang when he say, what happens to your Kitana? He said, a clown tricked me into killing her or whatever. So um, I think this would be a really cool game if they did Mortal Kombat versus Injustice. Uh, that would be really, really cool. It would kind of, you know, kind of uh, fix what was broken with the first game. First of all, it'll fix that. And I think fans would enjoy it and they would look at it as having fun because right now, People are having so much fun with uh, with Mortal Kombat 1. They're having so much fun with the game. Like, just talking about it, watching it, reviewing it, uh, combat casts, everything. You know, and by the time that beta come out, people are going to have even more fun with the beta. So, it's definitely a lot to look forward to. Now, a lot of you wondering what would happen with the fatalities. Well, at this point, it would not matter. It wouldn't matter at this point because it's like we're going into a mature market. Going into a mature market, you know, Mortal Kombat doing fatalities on DC characters, you know, it's not as shocking as it was back in the day. Because now you got these DC characters, they're dying in cartoons. Like The Flash died in a cartoon movie. Uh, you've seen a lot of heroes die on screen. So it's not like we're doing something that has not been done before which would be pretty dope for them to bring that into the game where you could just take Flash and grind them up, you know? So that would be super dope and everything. Now, I am aware that uh, Injustice operates just a little differently, but if you bring both games to the exact playing field, I think we can really gain some ground as far as making the perfect blend of a crossover game between Mortal Kombat and uh, Injustice, AKA DC Universe. So I think that'll be super duper, uh, super dope to even go down that path to explore something like that. But anyway, um, I want to, this was a very much fun video for me to make. I had so much fun making this video. Um, I want to pass this question off to you guys in the comment section below. Do you think a Mortal Kombat with Liu Kang's reset universe versus uh, Injustice 
is a really good idea do you think that will work in today's time like look at this free fall right here that would be so dope online you know and again make sure in the comments you pick your 10 Mortal Kombat characters and your 10 DC characters and don't forget your your five cameos for your DC side and your five cameos for your Mortal Kombat side. I will be reading all the comments and will feature something in my next video. I am just want to make this video to have fun with you guys, kind of interact and make sure I keep that content out for you guys. So this will be super dope. Come on now, you haven't thought about Injustice versus Mortal Kombat like a reboot or a continuation? I have and I think it will be super dope. But anyway, make sure you smash that like button. If you're watching the video for the first time, make sure you smash that subscribe button, turn on post notifications as this is your brand new favorite and exclusive place for daily Mortal Kombat content. With that being said, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Go ahead and crank that outro up. About to go to friends. We outside in public, baby. Peace for luck and friends. If they say it's up, then we ain't even shaking hands. Pull up where the beef and now they want to change the plans. Reason why they willing, cause we shooting at they mans, yeah. Hey, and it's all part of the plan. Why she keep on calling, cause she know I'm high demand. So in love with me, I got her on command. She suck me inside the coop, I say, and I'm your biggest fan. Yo, she pull up whenever I land. I made it to the top, oh, you can see I'm living brand. I'm in Cali with some bitches.